Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we have uh, talked about the Spring Boot white label error message. And there we have seen uh, when you access any resource, uh, RESTful resource uh, for a specific URI and resources exist for that URI, then we get the proper response, right? But uh, if you try to access uh, some resource with URI which does not exist at all then in that case a Spring Boot uh, provides you a default error message page. So here when I try to access a resource with uh, URI slash uh, welcome if you look into the my RESTful controller then there is a resource it's called hello right which is present with the slash uh, welcome URI with HTTP method get and we get the response as hello world on the browser which you, you can see on the uh, my screen right now if you try to access some you uh, resource uh, and that resource does not exist with uh, a specified URI like XYZ then we get this default message saying that white label error message this application has no explicit mapping for slash error so you are seeing this as a fallback page right and they have given the time stamp there was an unexpected error and HTTP status code you are getting 404 means resource not found and saying that no message available right so now question is that if we want to replace this default error message this default page with my own page then how we can do in a spring boot application right so that is the thing we are going to learn in this video. Now what I'll do, uh, I'll copy the same project and what I'll, I'll do, I'll paste in the same workspace and I'll give the project name a Spring Boot uh, a Spring Boot default default uh, custom error page demo so this is the project name i'm going to specify now let's close all files in eclipse and this is the project just we have created uh, now error has gone all dependency has been downloaded and added in this uh, maven dependency folder and error is gone right so what i'll do so i don't want the default page to be displayed right so we want the, some custom page right so let's rename this class as well so i would say a spring boot uh, custom error message demo application that's fine next okay so here uh, this component this scan is not required at all so just I'm removing and here uh, if you look into the controller risk controller then we have one resource make sure that this is working perfectly fine let's run this application first so run as a spring boot application and uh, as we haven't changed our port number in application.property so that uh, tomcat will run on the default port is called 8080 right so now if i try to access this application uh, by using this uri slash welcome then we were supposed to get the response hello world right and sorry we are not getting response what's been wrong Make sure that this is let me kill the server and let's start the server again and let me run this application okay so we have kept our control in different package right and that's the uh, that's the thing we are not getting the proper response if uh, your controller is uh, falls under the same I mean package where our bootstrap class is available 
और योर कंट्रोलर बिलोंग्स टू द सेम पैकेज हैरार की राइट वे आर योर गुड स्टार क्लास इज अवेलेबल दैन दैट विल पिकअप ऑटोमेटिकली एल्स विल हैव टू स्पेसिफाई एट द रेट कंपोनेंट स्कैन सो व्हाट आई एल डू आई एल क्रिएट अ सेम पैकेज हैरार की फॉर दिस कंट्रोलर कॉम डॉट इन्फोटेक डॉट कंट्रोलर ओके एंड आई एल डम दिस आर कंट्रोलर इन दिस पैकेज इन दैट केस यू डोंट नीड टू स्पेसिफाई द एट रेट कंपोनेंट स्कैन एंड आई एम गोट डिलीट दिस पैकेज नाउ इन दैट केस नाउ इन दैट केस विल गिव द प्रॉपर विल गेट द प्रॉपर रिस्पॉन्स लेट रन दिस प्रोजेक्ट आगे now under the this package we have a controller right package so controller belongs to the same hierarchy package uh, where your bootstrap class is available and if you press enter then we are getting the response right now if you try to access some resource which is not available on particular uri then we are getting uh, default error message like that uh, we want to customize this uh, default error message uh, default error page right so how we can do that so there are way to achieve this so your controller has to implement one met in one interface callback interface uh, in that case sorry my eclipse is bit slow so implements uh, error error controller interface you will have to implement and that belongs to the spring package right and once you implement this interface then this interface is having a one method that will have to override and that method is called get error path and error path i'm going to specify here like private static final string i would say path equal to slash error so so if you look into this error page default error page saying that there is no mapping for slash error that means a spring boot expects you to uh, create a create a resource with path slash error then that will invoke that re uh, restful api right so path we have defined with slash error now what i'll do i'll return from here the same okay and we'll we are going to define a method like so we have added uh, dev tools right so whenever we make any change in our uh, source file and we save it then server gets started automatically that's why you are looking over here uh, so a spring dev tools is in action now let's define a one resourceful Uh, resource like public uh, let's say return type is as of now a string and uh, i would say default error page default error message you can say and here i'm going to annotate this method as uh, request mapping something like this and path i'm going to specify this path error right so if some error occurs then this restful api will be invoked and here i'm going to return a simple message uh, i would say requested resource is not found right so now if you try to access any uh, resource right with uh, some particular uri and resource does not exist with that uri then this method is going to invoke instead of uh, forwarding this default error page so let's try to test it out so as i said uh, uh, a spring uh, Both dev tools I have added in my pom dot xml, so I don't need to start restart the uh, server, right? So server is gets started restarted automatically. So we have added this dev tools, right? So right now dev tools in action and server has automatically restarted. Now if I go and try to access this URL which we were trying to access earlier, 
then we are getting uh, message resources uh, sorry requested requ requested resources not found and this response is coming from the our uh, restful api right from this api so if some resources is, is, is existing with a specified url then we will get the response like uh, we have a resource with slash welcome right if you try to access resource with slash welcome then we'll get the output like hello world but if you try to access like uh, uh, some uri and from that uri uh, resource does not exist then our uh, defined method like uh, method we have defined default error message that is getting invoked automatically and that is mapped with the path or uh, uri slash error right and we are getting the response from the same same uh, restful api method right now thing is that uh, suppose if you are working on uh, restful web services right so sometimes you need to uh, send error message in some kind of json format right you want to send some more information rather sending the simple string like requested resource is not found you would want to send the uh, error message with some more details like what went wrong i mean http uh, http you want to send the http code some message timestamp and all right basically you want to send some json uh, if you want to send some information in json format then how we can achieve that right that we will look into the next video so, and uh, if you want to send uh, error message in simple text format right simple string then this is the way to do that and uh, in next video we will see how to send the message in the json format so thanks for watching this video this code i am going to put on the github and github location you will, will get on in the video description so see you in next video tutorial